Alright everybody, we are back playing some Roblox, and this time I'm playing Hide and Seek, and right now we're, we're selecting who is going to be it, and I hope it ain't me, well I kind of want it to be me, but I hope it ain't me, because I've never played this game before, woohoo, here we go, I've never played this game before, and I'm really curious to see how it's done, and it looks like it's kind of fun, so let's check it out, please like and subscribe, as I am recording this video, I got three subscribers, that's sad, come on people. Help out a guy. Help a, help a dude out. Help a Roblox player out. Alright, let's get into the game. I kind of have a feeling that there's not a lot of activity. You find a good hiding spot in this game and you try to stick with it. And if you can kind of see around, uh, around you and what's going on and you see the player who's it, you can probably evade him without too much trouble. So that's the tactic that I'm going to try to take on as I play this. There's 11 of us hiding and I hope to be one that doesn't get caught, so uh, let's just kind of, I'm going to run around here and figure things out. Bye. Bye. I'm pretty sure those black things are jump pads, but I don't know what, what my problem is. Bye. It doesn't seem to work for me. i got to figure this out. Well, that's what this is all about. I've never played it before, so I'm Bye. here to figure it out. And if you guys see in the, I'm doing something stupid... Please tell me in the comments and help me become a better Roblox player because I'm I'm not a good Roblox player. I am so new at this. This is probably like the seventh or eighth, maybe ninth time that I played Roblox, and and uh, I need all the help I can get, people. Bye. The one problem I've noticed so far with this game is it could be a little slow when you find a good hiding spot if you want to kind of stick with it. Well. And then you stick with it, and then you kind of just wait and see what happens. And that's what I'm doing right now. But luckily the games aren't very long. Like right now we got about three minutes left. Bye! If you hit the T key, you can taunt a little bit, like I just did there. It's kind of cool, down in the lower left part of your screen, you can get an indicator of how far away the person who is it is from you, and you can kind of um, be a little better prepared for when they get too close. And in case you were wondering, that little sparkly person who just ran by on the left side of the screen is the person who is it. I got a good, pretty good hiding place here. I can see around, and I can see him, that it person is chasing a couple people. It's kind of funny. Bye. Okay, it's time to make a move. Standing around hiding like this is kind of boring, so let's uh, see what kind of trouble we can get in. Dang, that thing jumps pretty high. She's way over there by the cash register. Ha <laughs> ha. You're far away. There's only 30 some seconds left. Bye. Uh oh. They're coming my way. They're going to try to get me. But I'm not going to let that happen. No way, no how. Clock is running out. Haha, <laughs> winner winner, chicken dinner. And now it looks like the person who was it on that last game gets to pick the room that we're going to try to play hide and seek in for the new game. Let's see what happens. Okay, is it wrong? I kind of feel like I want to be the person who's it on this next game. I think that'd be a lot of fun. Chase down some of these other players and hunt them down. Mmm! Anga! Anga! Ah, darn it. Looks like I didn't get it. Oh well. Ha 
And just like that, we're all in the same location and we have to run and scurry like little rats, little mice just spreading out all over the room that we're in. I'm gonna run and go find me some place that's awesome to hide. I don't know where, but I'm gonna find it and I'm gonna hide and I'm gonna win again because I'm a winner. I'm not a loser, I'm a winner. I'm a winner who can't seem to jump for crap on these things. Okay, the heck with it. I'll try this one over here. Bye. Ha ha. Looks like she's having troubles too, not just me. It seems fitting, consider, considering my uh, strong like of coffee, that I should hide behind the coffee maker. Bye. See, here we are again. It's kind of a waiting game in a way, and that kind of seems slow. It might be funner if I'd run around and do dashes here and there. I should probably try that. Okay, note to self, I gotta remember to turn off my alerts on my computer. That's kind of annoying and it's extremely lame. LAME! I said lame. Okay, in an effort to speed things along, I'm gonna clip and cut and edit and let's get this game moving closer to the end. Dude, my little roadblock dude runs like a pro, man. He's a champ. Look at him go. Look at him go. The form, the style, the grace. Yes. I'm actually kind of surprised he can run as well as he does with a head as large as his, man. It's just huge. That thing's got to, like, weigh 20 pounds. And for the record, the average human head weighs about 9 to 10 pounds. I know that because I watched the movie Jerry Maguire a week ago, and that was one of the facts in the movie that just some little kid was talking about. Well, we got less than uh, 25 seconds left, so might as well go out there and take a look around and see what's doing. I'm going to win again because I'm a winner. You gotta taunt a little bit. They gotta be out there somewhere, that person's at. That's it. Bye! And that's it for this game, and it looks like there was just a couple of us left. I'm done. Like and subscribe. Check back later. I'm gonna come and play hide and seek some more, and next time I'm gonna be a little more daring and run around and, and get more active and involved. We'll catch you on the next video. Thanks for watching.